again this morning. Try to get this uh, pipes in here and covered up. Dad's working on pouring the concrete on the floor of the drain box now. And then uh, once that kind of sets up later on today, we're gonna do a little forming around the ends of the pipes because they left, I think you call it like a mouse hole. It was just one big hole in the side of that box where they could run, or they, we could run uh, both pipes through there together instead of just having holes to cut in there or anything. So we kind of got them placed where we like them. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just put a board in there, I guess, to kind of form around them and hold them in there. I did not do the best job at filming this project yesterday. Uh, partially it was due, we kind of got a late start with going and picking up materials. Uh, I also forgot like three out of my six GoPro batteries yesterday. I've left them home on the charger, so. I don't know, it's just the whole weekend it was kind of a blur. It was just busy, busy, busy. I did the service on the 2150 here. I actually made a video on that. Unfortunately, I've only got four clips off the one camera because like, apparently the SD card in this camera stopped working. So I don't, I need to figure it out. I don't know. It shows I've got like 17 clips when I have it in the camera, I hook it up to my computer and it says the folder is empty. So <laughs> I don't know how to get them off the SD card and on the computer where I can edit the video. So I've got some new SD cards. I think I just got on Amazon, Best Buy, everywhere was closed or whatever when I figured that out late Saturday night. So. Yeah, I got new SD cards coming. Uh, I guess I'll just have to wait till I do the service again on this machine and I'll film it then. So I apologize for that, for my technical difficulties. So then, uh, what was I even rambling about? Oh yeah, I only had three. I usually have six GoPro batteries and I'll burn through, I don't know, four or five of them every day with what I film. So we probably didn't get started digging and putting the pipe in here till uh, it was after lunch. And then it was like mist and rain throughout the afternoon. It was supposed to rain more. So we were trying to race to get this in. So we didn't have a huge mess. I kind of set some of the cameras up and then just kind of forgot. So I should have done a better job conserving them. I'm just going to use this material. It's actually a mix of uh, pretty decent gravel and rock and then some clay and stuff mixed in here. So instead of hauling it all out and then using base rock, this material will pack in here really nice actually. So, and then I got a load of rock on the truck and we'll have to go back and get some more. We're going to uh, kind of change the angle of this ramp coming out of there. That's why we're putting this pipe in. I, I may have explained that yesterday. Like I said, it's the weeks and weekends are kind of running together. It's, springtime so uh, it's a little bit busy which I'm not complaining but man it's it's like all or none it seems like <laughs> after we build this ramp I mean it's kind of got a ramp now but basically where the ditch is at we'll probably add I don't know another eight or ten inches that ramps gonna be real gradual and feather into this road so we were gonna create a dam for all that water so now with having that catch box in there, any kind of water that runs down will just run into that and it won't let it run here or around the ramp, if that makes any sense. It'll just all funnel it down to that drain box. So you'll still have the water on the other side of the trailer, which she's fine with that. We'll just kind of slick that swell up a little bit more, but now you won't have a pond right here in front of the door and we can get the ankles right for, they've got a trailer or a travel or a motor home or something that with the angle of it, it kind of bottoms out the back of the trailer. So, and then from here, we're just going to kind of grade out that ditch. He's already kind of got one there, but we need something where all this surface water over here can run over to the edge. So it's gonna to have to have a ditch still on this side of it. 
So it'll all work out. Well, Dad got the floor poured in the box and then uh, kind of backfilled around the edge of the pipes here and through there. So we'll leave that thing on there, I don't know, probably most of this afternoon, maybe about five o'clock we can take that off. But for now, I'm gonna kind of clean up some of this mess. I don't want to fill that in. I'm gonna let that concrete kind of sit there and start curing a little bit before we cover it up. But I'm gonna dress this up. I got this kind of roughed in. I'm probably gonna go ahead and back my truck up somewhere up here. So I don't need I don't really need to add any more. So I can dump the rock and I'm gonna pull over here and load up the excess spoils and take them down there to where that house was at because it's kind of settled some and uh use some of that for filler and then we'll come in here and uh I need to yeah I got a little carried away it started getting dark last night so the pipes they're the height they need, but I got it dug out too deep there just in case it did rain, but then I'm going to... Now it's going to kind of start veering off at a little bit of an angle, but kind of follow what I've got dug out there, because basically... Now there's one spot out here where I'm kind of shooting for, and I'll probably have to dredge out some of this ditch. Kind of right in here, those pipes are just uh, like three quarters of an inch above that water right there so that's water's kind of low and then it gets high 
So the ditch is silted in pretty good. You can tell it's halfway up on that pipe, but it does all drain that way into the river. But I was actually talking to one of the county guys. They may be going to come through and uh, kind of clean this ditch out here pretty quick. So they just told me to get the pipe set up, whatever they need to be. And I can do a little bit of this out here. And they can just kind of mimic it or make it match. But still think about this property. It does have fall, but it's so flat that uh, it doesn't look like it really drains anywhere <laughs> but we'll get through uh, like i said we'll clean that up i'll go ahead and get this ditch dug out and start shaping it up so that is where we're at for now so uh yeah let's get this stuff cleaned up and see if we can get a ditch cut
there's our end of the day walk around to recap so dad got the uh and i can't really see it the floor and then uh, we got that poured behind there around the pipes and braced up we put the grate on there just so uh somebody does happen to drive or walk by they didn't fall in there put the chains on there for we'll pop that off tomorrow and take all the forms and then i'll uh uh, finish grading out the swell and kind of basically the whole parking lot and then uh, I got two loads of rock here I've pretty much got this I don't know sloped out where I want it and the rest of it we'll just use with the rock it's still gonna kind of I want to build it up a little more and kind of curve it out there because my whole idea is I, I basically want to force all the water in this parking lot on this end of it to that drain box so this is going to get built up some so it doesn't just try to run around it and then like i said i'll reshape that and then we'll end up re-rocking probably most of this drive <clears throat> and we're not going to quite go out oh to the edge of those doors because really they got stuff in there is about right here is about as wide as we can go or where they can drive in but we'll flare the ends out and then i got to do a little more work this ditch is kind of giving me some fits because i've only got like uh, maybe an inch and a half of fall between these pipes and the bottom and i actually dug more of that ditch out and i think we like i said talked to the county and they're going to try to get over here and kind of clean the rest of it out going down because it's probably silted in eight to ten inches easy so that once they do that it'll have all kinds of fall so it may be that i can dig a little bit of it down myself where i can get the proper fall here uh, I need to get some rip wrap and kind of do something here. I got a little bit of dirt left in the dump truck. I'm going to take back over there. We've hauled almost five loads to that house, so that's going to help fill that in. But And then we'll be back in the morning.